What's up guys, Justin with Hook One Fishing. If you want a low cost but great quality kayak hoist, then Rad Sports Kayak Hoist is for you. This video is a review and an install of how I did it. Maybe different for all you other guys out there, but this is how I did it. How I do it may be different from your application, so follow the instructions that are provided, okay? Most of the time when I see instructions, I usually do this. But then later, halfway through, I'm doing this. Crap, I need that. Okay, when you first unbox everything, you'll have four straps, two ropes, four pulleys, two bags of hardware, two lift cleats, four pulleys, hook pulleys, that's what I call them, and the instructions. I will say with this, for less than 45 bucks, you still get great quality, so I'm pretty impressed, really. All right, the tools I used, impact drill, a drill, pencil, knife, two 17 millimeter wrenches, and a lighter. All right, my application was different, but I added the pulley first to the two x four that I'll be throwing up in the air. First, you want to put your pulley on the mounting board, mark your holes to be drilled, and drill them with a 7 16 bit. Follow the instructions based off your space requirements. When I mounted mine, I put only one screw in. I'll show you why in a bit. For my application, I spaced mine 77 inches and one quarter apart. My kayaks are a little over 12 foot long, so this spacing would be great. Now you need two people for this job, but like always, I'm a lone ranger for the most part. Work with the back part first, the one that doesn't have the brake on it. Now the reason I only put one screw in was to allow room to add the rope. Then take the rope and slide it through the back pulley, like shown. Sorry, it wasn't shown in the tools that I used, but I used a little pick to fish the rope through. I tie a simple knot so the rope won't slip through. Now after adding the rope in, put the other bolt in and tighten both of them down. Now take the rope and put it in, like shown. Next, go to the front pulley and slide it in from the back. Now take the rope and put it in through like shown. Right here I'm just showing how the brake system works. Once the pulley is close to the ground, I cut the rope at eye level. Here's where that lighter comes in handy. Now for the second part of the rope. Next, go to the front pulley. Now take the rope and put it through like shown. Tighten bolts down after getting the rope through. Now take the rope and slide it through like shown. And take the rope and put it through the brake system like shown. Now add the lift cleat on the wall. I know it has on the instructions four foot, but I put mine at six foot. I just wanted it out of my way. Now put your kayak in position. You want the pulleys low as possible. Put them in the straps as shown. This didn't come with enough rope to go between the pulleys. So I had some rope lying around. Be sure to add the rope in between the pulleys like shown. This is very important so the kayak does not slide off. You do not want that to happen. I would recommend wearing gloves lifting this up, but being stubborn as I am, I didn't wear them in this video. Now, as you can see, it's a bit hard for me to lift this up. So 
So don't think your kids or your wife can lift this. Although if your wife can lift this, then you gotta keep her. <laughs> Secure the rope and the lift cleat. There you have it guys, nice and out of the way. It does come with two of them. Now I would give this an eight out of 10 just because uh, it's a little harder than I expected it to be to uh, lift it up in the air. Um, you know, I'm a big guy and everything, but I expected to be a little easier. Um, not that, again, my wife would do it maybe, or, or, or my kid, but also you can't beat it for the price. Now I know it says in the instructions not to have this above people or kids or cars or whatever. So for that reason, I plan on adding some chains around the um, underside, a couple of them. All right guys, if you're looking for a lift, this is a good one, okay? Uh, definitely check it out. I'll leave it in the description below for you guys to check out. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. If you have any questions, just comment below. I'll answer them. And also, if you would subscribe, it doesn't cost anything. It's free, it helps me out, it helps me do videos like this. I appreciate you guys doing that if you did. But until next time, you guys stay hooked.